Hello, my name is Ray Caruzzi, and I'm a graduate student here at Iowa State University studying with Ajay Nair in the Department of Horticulture in the Sustainable Vegetable Production Laboratory. I'm here today to discuss with you optimal lettuce harvest staging and why it's important to establish an optimal stage to harvest lettuce. So you're probably wondering, why butterhead lettuce? Well, in the state of Iowa, we have a large niche market for farmer to consumer vegetables. And you want to offer your consumer an optimal product that tastes great and looks great. So butterhead lettuce is an awesome option to do so because it often doesn't get bitter as easy as other, other lettuces, as well as it's a very short crop. Also, the reason why we would want to establish a standard for harvest is because especially in the research realm that I'm in, I'm applying treatments to these lettuce plants and I don't want to harvest the plant at a time when I'm favoring one plant or one treatment over another. Also, with leaf lettuce, we're faced with the interesting dilemma that we're trying to grow an optimal amount of biomass while at the same time having that biomass or the amount of leaves look edible and taste great, as well as, like in my scenario, trying not to favor certain treatments in the field. So, here we have a demonstration of what is optimal and what farmers are trying to grow for their consumers. It's a very large head of lettuce little insect damage with great color and this is what consumers would want and it's very showy consumers would just love to get that at the store if you let this lettuce head grow in the field a little longer what will eventually happen is that the head will eventually start to blanch in the center and be at a somewhat bolting stage and what happens here is that also the outer wrapper leaves start to degrade a little bit they're a little tougher and there's a little bit more insect damage. But this is still a marketable head. It's very large. It's a good uh, product to take to the store. Just not quite as good as what we had it. If we let this lettuce grow a little longer, what will happen is, is that we'll hit the bolting phase where the plant will actually start to have a the central stalk come up out of the center and we'll eventually have little florets for seeds at the top, which is what we don't want. So coming back, this is what is optimal. But sometimes in the field we're faced with the dilemma of harvesting early. And so here's a demonstration of what is just, it's still marketable, I would still take this to the store, but we have to face the decision of should we let this grow a little longer and, and take a gamble and let it grow to a more optimal head? Or do we take the gamble and have the chance of possibly having a non-marketable head? So this is a demonstration of what you don't want to take to the store. We have a bleach center, like we saw with the other larger heads that were past prime, but the problem is, is that when we take off the outer leaves that are damaged by insects, we're just, we just don't have the lettuce head size that we want. And so it's going to be not quite as showy, and consumers are not going to want to take this off the shelves as easy as something else. So. Like I said, you're faced with this dilemma at this stage. Sometimes you have to make the decision with your own past experience of what the weather will be and as well as what the insect pressures are in your field as well as how your field performs in terms of making the decision and the gamble of whether to let your lettuce grow to a more optimal state or to let it grow and take the gamble and the risk of letting it go to a non-marketable state. So. Today, hopefully I have discussed with you and displayed a good demonstration of optimal lettuce staging in the field and why it's important.